Well, good morning. It's day 39 on the Camino del Norte. This is a big day. It's only about um, 21 kilometers or about maybe 12 and a half, 13 miles, not that far. But toward the end of the day, we will reach the 100 kilometer marker. Huge milestone. That means we'll only have about 62 miles left to Santiago. <sighs> yeah. Um, am I a little emotional? Yeah, I am. Um, it's been tough. It's been amazing. It's been beautiful. But we're almost there. So I hear the click, click, click of the uh, hiking poles. There's already some pilgrims out. So uh, let's get going. The weather should be good. Let's keep our fingers crossed, okay? So let's work our way through this town. All right, only 118 and change. Let's go find that 100 marker. Some of you have asked about um, safety and the fact that I'm walking alone. You're never alone <laughs> on the Camino, particularly during this stretch. Ever since I've been in Galicia, I have seen more and more pilgrims. Uh, a lot of people will start their Camino, maybe with uh, 200 kilometers to go, something like that, and that's just fine. Uh, this is a very nice route to do, and uh, there's always people around, so it's kind of nice. Nice change from uh, the first few weeks where I really didn't see anyone. Um, so now, it feels more like a Camino, particularly in a day or two when we meet up with the French route. That's going to be crazy fun then. All right, let's keep going.
typically don't like cemeteries, but uh, this one is uh, really interesting. The architecture. Ah, well, just finished a uh, lovely little breakfast stop cafe uh, right along the Camino. Very reasonable prices. Um, I know some of you keep asking me about the cost and, you know, I had a large cafe con leche and uh, a piece of cake. 1.5. Uh, you can't ask for better than that. Ah, lots of pilgrims at the cafe. Uh, a group of bikers, um, a group of young men walking with a very well-behaved dog, and uh, lots of other folks. So, ah, it's a busy day out on the Camino, but the weather is perfect. I'm hoping it stays that way. Low humidity, light uh, cloud cover. A lot of the time it seems like we're under a forest canopy so we do have some shade. Uh, couldn't ask for better walking weather, actually. All right. We just passed uh, about 14.5K. So I'm still looking for that 100K uh, uh, marker. It'll be coming up. So let's keep going. Well, that was a, uh, an interesting little shrine on top of the marker. And I had a uh, sweet encounter with a uh, farmer here just a second ago. The shrine had all kinds of little items that people left. I added a, a little pebble as well uh, for someone who is uh, battling cancer. And uh, the little farmer, he uh, just wanted to ask how I was doing and if I liked the weather. So, uh, yeah, beautiful day. I mean, come on, look at this. It is gorgeous out here. All right, let's get back to it. We're uh, about 110 kilometers away. That's, uh, uh, well, 10 kilometers is about six miles. So it's going to be close. That uh, measurement is pretty close to where I'm supposed to finish for the day. So we'll see uh, if I actually hit that 100K uh, marker today. I should, according to the maps I have. But we will see. Either way, we're getting closer. I guess that's one way to uh, give your horse exercise. <laughs> So I was just chatting with a couple from Madrid and uh, 
they asked me when I was planning on arriving in Santiago. And I said, the 16th. And they said, oh, you should try to be there on the 15th. And I said, why? And they're like, that is the Feast of the Virgin Mary. Huge festival day, um, big mass. Of course, the Bonifacio will be uh, swinging and the town is gonna be very, very crowded. So I guess that explains why I'm seeing more and more pilgrims uh, today because a lot of people are doing the last 100, 110 K and they're trying to get to Santiago on the 15th. I don't think I'm going to change my plans. I think I'm just gonna still arrive on the 16th. Um, it'll be a little bit calmer and uh, I think accommodations will be a little less expensive as well. Because when I tried to book originally, I couldn't get anything on the 15th. So I guess that explains why. All right, coming up on a really busy intersection. So uh, let's be careful. Another little uh, impromptu rest stop. And they have owls. And I love owls. It's very cute. There's nothing for sale. I don't see any beverages. But if you needed a place to uh, rest for a moment, it certainly is uh, comfy for that and to get out of the rain, if it was raining, but it's not. So, let's keep going. One hundred kilometers point nine three seven. That is pretty close. Wow. All right. I think the uh, hotel is just down here. So uh, let's go find it and uh, maybe one more marker before the end of the night. What do you think? Okay, I was really hungry after today's walk. I'm not sure why. I think I'm just down a few uh, thousand calories but I ordered a hamburger. I haven't had a hamburger in forever. And this looks really good. And yeah, there is meat under here. Um, so I am going to enjoy this. Well, what a beautiful day for a walk. Ah, it was perfect. Um, in the uh, hotel, resting, and uh, gonna take a little siesta before dinner. Gonna meet a new friend I met on the Camino, Sarah, for dinner. She's from Germany. She's also walking the Camino alone. And uh, yeah, it's just been a great day. Hit the 100 kilometer marker, um, 100 and change, okay? We'll, we'll hit the um, 100 uh, less kilometer first thing in the morning. But you know what, we're there, so it's all good. Ah, can't say enough. Today was just perfect. It is getting warmer. The um, heat dome is coming back to the area. So everybody's gonna have to be careful uh, walking and making sure we have plenty of water. We do have more resources. Um, now because we are getting closer and closer to Santiago and uh, 
I'm still gonna plan on only carrying about a liter to a liter and a half of water. I do wanna respect my feet. Uh, they felt really good for most of the day. The only time they act up is after I take breaks. Then they take a little bit of time to uh, get loosened back up. But uh, feel good, clothes are dry already. Uh, so I'm ready for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's day is going to be really short, only about 15 kilometers, which is just over nine miles. Uh, some people ask me, they say, like, oh, you could go more. And I'm like, no, I'm going to keep it short, um, treat it as a, a pseudo rest day. Um, the weather is getting warmer, so it's going to be hot. I'm going to try and get an early start. I am in an albergue tomorrow, so I'm not sure how early I'm going to be able to check in. Um, so I may have to hang out at a cafe or something for a while. But I'm going to meet Sarah from Germany. I'm going to meet her for dinner tonight and uh, then just kind of relax. So thank you again for following along. We are almost there. It's hard to believe. Please make sure if you um, have subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, please do. And be sure you've hit the notification bell to get notified on whenever I post a new video. Take care and I will see you tomorrow. It will be day 40. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye.